In this video, we're going to take a look at the hotbox and why it's something you should really explore and learn how to use. Because once you learn and understand the hotbox, it will help you be extremely efficient in Maya LT, no matter what you're doing, because it's just a faster way of accessing commands and performing different tasks inside the software. Let's go to a one view layout. So I'll hit the space bar to access the hotbox temporarily, which then brings my perspective view into the full view. Now we've already discussed the different shelves that we have available to us and how we can quickly access tools and commands that we can also get from going to our menus along the top here. But in the hotbox, understand that I can access 90% of the commands and tasks from the menus and from the different shelves directly in my viewport. So let me press and hold the space bar and you see the hotbox becomes available to me. And at first, once again, you see a lot of different options, a lot of different commands, and it does feel a little overwhelming. What is all this? But once you realize all the default commands that I see when I access my hotbox are really just the different commands I access in my menus and in my shelves, you'll start to understand how you can be more efficient in the software. Let me release the spacebar for right now. And looking back at the menu along the top, we already know that we have access to our file, our edit, our modify menus, our create, our display, and our window. These are always there. Also remember, apps and help are always available up here. And depending upon what menu set we are in, we will access different menus relevant to the task that we're working on. So with the polygons menu set available, I can access select, mesh, edit mesh, normals, color, create UVs, edit UVs. Let me switch my menu set to animation, and now you can see we've got animate, create deformers, edit deformers, skeleton, skin, constraints, and so on. Let me go back to polygon just for a second. And coming back down to my view, I'm going to hit the space bar once again, and let's take a deep look at what exactly is being offered us. What is the top list here? It's file, edit, menu, create, display, window, apps, and help. So it's all the menus that are available to me up along the top of my UI, but now they're available to me directly in the viewport. And I can click on any one of the menus, and that's going to open it up and expand all the different options that are available to me that I normally come up here and click and access them. Once again, I'll hit the space bar, and then I go down, you'll see there's select, mesh, edit mesh, normals, color, create UV, and edit UV. So this is the polygon menu set available to me. And then there's the animation menu set available to me. There's also the NURBS and the lighting menu sets available. So this is what's great is you can access all these commands that are typically accessible by going to the top of the UI right here just by hitting the space bar, going to a certain menu, and then I can choose polygon, primitive, cube, and then I can click and drag in my viewport to create a cube. Let me select and just delete that for right now. Again, I'll hit the space bar to bring up my hotbox, and you can see that every single menu that's available to me from all the different menu sets are available to me at one time inside the hotbox. And it works just like the menu set that you have up above you. And these menus can also be floating menus, just like I showed you from the menu on top. If I come to this dashed line right at the top and I choose this, now I've got the create menu available to me as a floating window. And I can leave it open for as long as I want until I'm done with it. Then I can discard it when I'm ready to move on. The only part of the workflow that's a little different inside of the hotbox compared to coming up to your menus up here along the top, if I hold my left mouse button and I just expand the edit menu and as I slide across you'll see each menu is then exposed or opened up if you will. I come back down to my hotbox and I hit the space bar and I hold down or click on file you'll see it expands the file menu but as I slide across it's not going to open up each menu. I have to release the mouse and then click on the next one, release the mouse, click on the next one. But as far as dragging down and accessing the sub menus and so on that is all the same workflow. But now we'll take this even further. The hotbox lets us access all of the menu options from our UI, but we can use something called marking menus. Whenever you right click on something, you get different options throughout the interface and they're called marking menus. I'm holding down the space bar. If I right click over this square or the word that reads hotbox controls, I get more options relevant to what I'm right clicking over. There's a menu on the bottom that I can scroll through decide what do I want to do, how do I want to control the menus, and so on. 
I can show all or I can hide all. And notice that as I bring my cursor away from the center circle, the other options will highlight and there's like a connection line showing me where I'm dragging to. And notice that the top options show polygons, show surface, show animation, show rendering, all have a little triangle on the right hand side, which means there's further options if I go to them. So for example, if I drag over to show surfaces, you'll notice that show surfaces gives me a couple other options. And then at any point, if I want to return to the sub menu or the main options of the menu marker, I can go to the center dot once again and they reappear. Also, I should mention that when you are using the menu marker such as this, you don't actually actually drag and click on the option you want. You can just swipe through it. And it's also true with the hotbox. The marking menus and the hotbox work the same way. I can just swipe through the option and that option then is what is activated. So you don't have to drag and click. You actually just swipe through something and it brings you those options or creates the command or performs the command that you swipe through, which we'll see with some other options shortly. One thing I want to clarify, when you are using your marking menus, typically you always right click to access the marking menus. But when you're working in the hotbox like this, you can actually left click or right click and you'll still receive the marking menus relevant to what you are clicking on inside the hotbox. I've just gotten in the habit of always right clicking because right clicking is how you access the marking menus everywhere else outside of the hotbox. But just so you know, you can left click or right click to get marking menus inside the hotbox. I'll release the mouse button and if I go right to the dead center of my hotbox and I click while holding the space bar and right click the mouse button, I now get all the different view options as to what the current view I'm working in is. So for example, if I want this to be a top view, I could drag over this way and release, or I can just swipe through. I never even released the hotbox. I never even released my space bar. I just clicked and dragged through the top view option and automatically my perspective view became a top view. If I go back to the center, I click again. Notice that perspective is straight up. I just drag through. And then again, the viewport changes. So hopefully you can start to get an idea of how efficient the hotbox could be. For example, let me discard the hotbox and I want this view to be a front view. I get the space bar, hold mouse button on the dead center and just drag down and I just switch to the front view. Hold the space bar, click my mouse button and just drag straight up and I'm back to a perspective view. And once you get used to accessing the hotbox and clicking and dragging through these different view options or different commands, you'll realize how fluid using the hotbox can be. Let me hit the space bar and hold it to bring our hotbox back up. You'll notice these dashed lines we have here. Now these are different zones or coordinates, if you will, up, down, left, right, north, south, east, west. And each one of them holds Again, more commands you can access very quickly. For example, if I bring my cursor in the north or up quadrant and I click down with my mouse button, I now get access to different viewport layouts that I normally would access from my menu or from the side icons. But if I want this to be a perspective outliner, again, I just drag down. I'm now in a perspective outliner. Now, if I want to switch back to my default, just one perspective view, hold the space bar, go up, click and drag straight up, and it switches my viewport to that. So going up into this zone or the north quadrant, I can access all the different preset layouts with different options such as the hyper shader, perspective outliner, perspective graph, and so on. Moving over to the west or to the right, if I click now, I get different options of my UI. Maybe I don't want to see the shell, so you see shelf, command line, help line, status, attribute. Now you'll notice I get different options for my attributes. I'll return back, toolbox, time slider, range slider, and so on. So if I don't want to see the shelves, I choose shelves. The shelves are no longer visible inside my UI. I want my shelves back again, space bar, click shelves, they're back again. Let me bring back the hot box and we'll come down to our south area. I click. Now I can convert my current perspective view to one of the editors, whether it's the outliner, the sets, the graph editor, dope sheet, hypergraph, hypershade, texture baking view. So if I swipe down, I'm in the hypershade. I go back, I drag straight up, I'm in the outliner. If I want to go back to my single perspective view, spacebar, click straight up and drag through. 
If we can go back to the very beginning when I first started talking about the UI and I talked about our status line up here where we have different selection and masking options. You can choose what exactly is going to be shown. You can display different elements for selections and masking. I bring this up for this fact. In the east quadrant, I can control those. So if I hit the space bar to bring up the hotbox, go over to the left or the east and click, now I can choose exactly what masking option I want to have available to me above on my UI. Animation, deformation, polygon mask, rendering, object, and nerve masks. So to reiterate, if we hit the space bar, we bring up the hotbox, I can access all the different menus and menu sets that are available to me inside of my LT. Oh, I didn't forget one thing. Notice this one here, view, shading, lighting, show, option, panels. Where's that one? Well, that's right here. That's what's available in this individual view. Because I'm in a perspective viewport looking at my scene, I have these menus right here, right? Well, hit the space bar and look what I got right above me. View, shading, lighting, show, options, panels. Again, I can access all of these options right here inside the hotbox. And I want to make sure you understand the hotbox is relevant to what viewport you are over. It will respect the menus that are currently active in that viewport. So, for example, if I go back over and I click on my option to have my outliner right here, and I have my perspective view on this side, but in the outliner, I hit the space bar, look at the menus I have, display, show, panels. What do I have for my outliner? Display, show, panels. So the hotbox knows what viewport you are clicking over based on where your cursor is. I'll go back to the four view layout, and just keep in mind that the hotbox is available any view you go to, and as we learned earlier, using the hotbox, just tapping down the spacebar will allow us to set the current viewport our cursor is over into a full view. So I bring my cursor to perspective, hit the spacebar. This viewport is now brought into the full view of one viewport. Now there's one more option I need to discuss, and it has nothing to do with the spacebar. It has to do when you're working with your objects. I want to elaborate just a little bit on the marking menus that I mentioned that we accessed while looking at the hotbox. Because as I said, you can access marking menus throughout the Maya LT interface. And a very common thing is right clicking over an object to access a marking menu relevant to that object. So let's take a look at that. If I come to the sphere that I have and I right click with my mouse on it, I receive a whole series of different options as to what mode do I want my selection to be in? What do I want to work with on this object? Is it the object mode, which is what I'm in right now? Or do I want to access some of the components, whether it's the edge, the vertices, the vertex face, the face, and so on? Also, notice there's a whole list of menus that are available to me that are relevant to the current object I right-clicked on. The object actually doesn't have to be selected. You just need to right-click on that object to receive these menus. So I'm not hitting the space bar to access this. I'm clicking the right mouse button over the object. So if I come over to the cone, notice the sphere is still selected, but I just right click over the cone and I get all the options and commands that are relevant to this cone. Doesn't matter what's selected, it matters what you are right clicking over. So now you'll see it says Taurus. I can change its name. I can access all the components of this object and so on. So I will admit, the hotbox may seem alien to you when you first start learning Maya LT, but it's something you definitely want to investigate because once you realize you can access almost all the commands and options that are available to you all over the UI that we just looked at, and you know that you can access them right here, you will be a much more efficient artist working inside of Maya LT.